can go another year, right? <laughs> and now, we're all taking our separate paths. We're growing up. We'll probably suffer a few crashes. We'll probably have to call home at least once and hear the, what were you thinking? The good part is that whether we fail a couple times or a hundred times in our endeavors, we're living. And the sooner we realize this, the better. We must stop every once in a while and ask ourselves, what is the meaning in this moment? Because we're not just going to wake up one day and be happy. No one is ever going to show up on our doorstep to hand us the diploma of life. In real life, there is no last puzzle piece that snaps in and finishes the job. We must never forget that life is happening right now. So, what does this moment mean? What do our friends mean? What do our families mean? This occasion has made me realize that what means the most is not the grades or the activities or the stuff that fills our lives and that we often strive after at all costs, but our togetherness as human beings, human beings that need one another deeply. I hope that all of us can take this wholesome education that we've been offered and reach new heights with it. But even more so, I hope that we may reach new depths in our relationships, which comprise the core of life's meaning. Because, as English chemist and inventor Sir Humphrey Davis, Davy once said, life is not made up of great sacrifices and duties, but of little things, which, in which smiles and kindness, given habitually, are what win and preserve the heart and secure comfort. I guess what I'm trying to say is simply this. I urge you, let us go deep into life. Because the people, the people sitting in this auditorium rejoicing with us, and the people whom we get to meet, the people who provide warmth and richness in our lives, mean something. Something even more empowering, I think, than a diploma. The community of Lee Summit has produced high school graduates since the late edition of Excellence. Of all the classes to graduate from Lee Summit High School, the class of 2008 is clearly one of the finest. While we have heard a sample of their commitment to academic excellence, it does not tell the full story of this special group. Seniors, it would take all night to list your accomplishments across four years. But let's at least attempt to summarize. It was during your sophomore year that we began to catch a glimpse of your zeal. Prior to that year, myself and activities director, Mr. Schnell, met to discuss how we could get more students involved and to attend activities. The answer was simple. Challenge the class of 2008 and watch them respond. It was you that filled spirit buses to away football games. It was you that brought more than 1,000 students to homecoming dances. And it was you who showed up in large numbers at concerts and theatrical performances. In the winter of 2006, I remember standing at a basketball game. It was not a special occasion on the calendar, but the student section was very large. I wondered aloud, who are all of these kids? It was one of the assistant principals who looked at me and said, a large portion of them are sophomores. Indeed, he was right. There you stood, the class of 2008, already seizing leadership in both spirit and support. Since that time, you have not stopped. Your leadership has produced an unforgettable four years at Lee Summit High School. 
Your senior year has been particularly outstanding. Consider the evidence. You took the community by storm through the joy and jubilation of four sold out performances and one encore performance of Beauty and the Beast. You won eight conference championships. You won a second consecutive Suburban All Sports Award. You won three district championships, two of them in one night. You upheld the tradition of all major musical performing groups earning one ratings at district competition and multiple students earning all state recognition. You once again designed publications worthy of state and national awards and artwork that will adorn our hallways for years to come. You built yet another award-winning robot and you pulled off assemblies and variety shows that always kept the crowds moving. Let there be no doubt, seniors, you took charge of making Lee Summit High School the place to be. Even after adding your extracurricular accomplishments to your academic successes, the story is not finished. For you, seniors, have left a legacy of caring. You created a new tradition, Candle for a Cure, to not only raise money to fight a disease, but to offer participants a venue for remembrance and reflection. Not satisfied with generating 46 holiday food baskets and raising $700 for Lee Summit families, you challenged your arch rival to a canned food drive and collected 3,300 non-perishable goods for donation to social services. In addition, you made time to serve others. Between community service hours and A-plus tutoring hours, you gave more than 26,000 hours of service to your community. In short, you have been a remarkable senior class. You have made a difference, and you have made us proud. Before we individually recognize each of our seniors, it is important to take a moment and pay tribute to those who have helped these students reach this momentous occasion. First, Credit and praise is due to the teachers and other staff members who have contributed to the development of these students. The faculty and staff of Lee Summit High School are outstanding and committed professionals, as are the teachers and other staff present within their middle school and their respective elementary schools. Would each R7 teacher and staff member who has played a role in educating these seniors please stand and be recognized? We all know that our greatest teachers are, without question, the family members who care for us as we grow into adulthood. Would all parents, step-parents, guardians, and grandparents of the students in the class of 2008 please stand and be recognized. Thank you. 